3D Ouija board with a moving planchette acrylic nail art tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a Ouija board design. This wouldn't necessarily have to be for Halloween, but definitely has that Halloween vibe. And with it there is a moving planchette, and so as you, there's a little wire um, magnet, it's a little magnet on a piece of wire that you can have underneath the nail, so you can't see your hand necessarily, the other one. And it connects to a magnet that's in the planchette, and you can move it along and it changes and it moves without it looking like you're touching it or moving it on your own, which is so cool. And it definitely has a spooky vibe to it. So I hope you like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos and Halloween designs as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an overlay with sort of an orangey gold bronze color acrylic. This is, it, everyone asks what color acrylic this is. This is the one that is called Gold by Young Nails that I thought thinking it was going to be a metallic gold and it really is not. I, their silver, Young Nail Silver, is stunning. It is a metallic silver that looks silver. I thought the gold would be the same way. <laughs> no, not. But it works for a lot of things like this. And then I'm going to take some wet brown acrylic, so it's pretty much almost all monomer, and just sort of rub that all around the nail to sort of dirty the surface. And then I'm going to gently file it just to smooth out the surface a little bit and try not to file through all your brown and completely get rid of it. And then I'm going to buff it with a 240 grit pad of buffer to remove any scratches. And this is important because it'll make the painting so much easier if you have a nice smooth surface to paint on. So now I'm going to be painting all of that, the Ouija board print, or not really print, but the patterns and the, the board surface on there. So I'm going to start with the letters and I started with G and then I'm going to paint the I j etc g is the center letter in the top section of the alphabet and so that's why i started with that and i'm going to start with that in the center and that's going to make sure that all these letters are centered and in the right place and then m and then i'm going to go back with the other direction the rest of the alphabet is in another row beneath that and then i'm going to be painting the alphabet backwards from there and which that's weird painting the alphabet backwards you'd think that you should just be able to do this without looking at something to see what order you're painting in. I I could have, it would have taken a lot more thought process. So I would recommend looking at a photo of the of an of a Ouija board just to make sure that all your letters are right so that you don't end up painting A C B D E F G. Because that is something I would do. That is definitely something I would do. If you're just painting and not really thinking about it, you think, okay, next letter and then all of a sudden your letters are out of order. You don't really want to do that not the best. If that does happen though, you can just take some isopropyl alcohol in like on a cotton swab and just erase what's wrong and hopefully that should come off without a problem. If not, you can file it a little bit to get rid of everything. And then once your second row of letters are all in place like so, you can move on to the next step which I'm going to be painting the numbers. And so I'm going to start with a six that is just slightly off center and then add a seven, eight, and a nine and a zero and then before the six five four three two one and i did all of this in the same font that i found on the ouija board that i was looking at and so it matched fairly well um the same sort of very traditional looking font and traditional looking letters and then in the corner at the tip i'm going to write no in the corner by the cuticle i'm going to write yes with much bigger letters than the other ones before it and then between the two, I'm going to write Ouija, starting with the I, then the J, then the A, and then before the I, the U, and the O. So in this circumstance, the I is in the center, and you paint the other letters to either side of it. And then on the sides, I have a little bit of room, and so I'm going to add a moon beneath the no. Generally, the moon would be besides the no, but I didn't have room there, so I thought I could put it sort of behind or below and next to the letters in the alphabet and just paint the moon and ever so slight details to the face and then on the other side paint a sun starting with a circle and then adding the same little loopy cloud forms around that and then paint the face on the sun and the sun on an actual board has the little rays going out around it I decided I would just ignore that part because that would be extremely small and it won't really show up anyway. So now I'm going to be applying a layer of matte top coat over that nail. And then I'm going to take a small magnet on a nail form backing and just set that on there and let it be for a second. And then put a bead of clear acrylic above that and sculpt that into a nice little circle. 
and you want this to be thick enough that it's thicker than your magnet so make sure it just has more height than the magnet does and then that should be plenty and then around the clear and around the magnet or over the magnet I'm going to be sculpting that subtle heart shape so a point in front of the clear and then around the magnet it's going to come into like two soft loops and like I said it's subtle so I didn't you can planchettes come in all different sizes or in all different shapes and so you can make either the way your board is or the way you like it to be any way you want and I'm using the same color of that orangish gold that I used on my board I'm gonna add another layer you definitely want this like I said be thicker than the magnet so you don't file through to hit the magnet you don't really want to show the magnet you want that to be kind of like a little hidden secret and then I'm going to be filing the surface just to reveal that nice clear circle and then apply a layer of gel sealer and cure that and then to make my magnetic I'm gonna take a piece of wire that's got a slight curve and then having a magnet a second magnet on the planchette that's just resting there that's not glued I'm gonna glue the stick to the magnet this is gonna make sure that your magnet has the poles in the right direction so that it does attach to the planchette and I'm going to increase the hold from the magnet to my piece of wire with some clear acrylic just make sure that it's not gonna fly off if you touch it because just the nail glue would not have a very strong hold and then that's it and you can have the planchette on one side and the magnet on a stick on the other side and move it around thank you so much for watching i hope you like this design please share any recreations with me on facebook or instagram i would love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye